Oh, Lady Priscilla, I had such high hopes for you. Rest in peace. Your death will be avenged. Welcome back to Let's Quest Rogue Legacy. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I can honestly say this is the first time I've ever seen a screen partially update to have uh, controller controls once I touched a control. Jeez. It came up with all keyboard controls because I was, uh, well it doesn't matter why, but now I've touched a controller and uh, everything has changed except the A button. Just for this one, so let's actually press enter. So, it's the 51st episode. What have I accomplished? Well, I unlocked the secret class, failed miserably at it my first time. I've, uh, reached the point where I can regularly get a Divine Rating. I've defeated Kadir the Gatekeeper. And, uh, thanks to a, uh, a various amount of upgrades and stat po po boosts, I've, uh, reached level, what is it, 106 now? Alexander the Forgotten still lives. Crowstorm, huh? Somniphobia. I just got that for going there. Play the game for at least 20 hours. Great, just sort of rubbing in my sense of ill achievement. Because most of those videos or just me faffing about and accomplishing nothing. Oh, well, let me check the runes. I got a great suggestion last night, one that was too obvious for me to see, where, uh... It was suggested to me that, uh, the next time I play as the dragon, I should disable the ones I don't... the uh, runes I don't need, like mana regeneration or, uh, double jumping, and replace them with more useful ones. I thought I had... I thought I had one equipped. Yeah, I do have one equipped. I'm not certain, and I think this might be uh, lesser numbers for both MP and HP. So the next time I become a dragon, I might go with uh, straight-up vampire room. Of course, I don't have any of these unlocked. I don't really have any good ones here. Maybe another one of these? Oh! Maybe that would help me with some of those challenges. I bet that means you can dash immediately with it before you touch the floor. Which means you can make it farther distances without jumping. Well, in any event. Not a great start. Oh! Ear itches. Ah, something fierce. There we go. Level 107. So I had reached level 106. I don't know what I meant. We can't prove that in a court of law. Sorry for that were recorded. God damn it. Someone keeps texting me. I was going to ignore that until the video ended, but let me take a look at that, folks. Okay, sorry about that. Ah! Oh well, 
almost another one. Other ear edges, what is up with this? I think I left soap there when I showered this morning. Ugh, oh, gosh, it's such a late start today, folks. I didn't so much sleep poorly as I did sleep late. Oh no, I can't win, but. You know, there's an achievement, which I haven't gotten yet. 50 videos for uh, beating any of the clowns' games once. No, that was just way too off. Had to stop again in order to sneeze. Sorry about that. A lozenge. And says, uh. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier. I mean, I bet a dragon could give that without breaking his sweat, but. A little. You know, festive slogan. Not festive. Encouraging slogan in this one. Is, uh. Be unstoppable. I feel like that's good advice. Just because I had a bad start to the day. Just because I overslept and uh, got pissed about it. Doesn't mean I should let the, what's left of the day be ruined. I mean, this is Rogue Legacy. It compresses really quickly, so I might still be able to salvage my schedule. Either. And it's not like uh, I'm one of these big, you know, famous YouTubers like, like I don't know, CNanners or the Augustcast, who has a specific uploading schedule. Uh, you know, so if I don't upload something, it's 3 p.m. every day, it's a problem. My god! I don't have anything slightly easier. No! not go that way. The whole point of this exercise is to buff my st stats using the Lich King's secret before I go to face uh, Alexander. So making tons of money seems to be a nice uh, alternative. You know, one of the most annoying things about facing off against a... Uh, Oh, Christ! Look at Mario, that guy. Man, I had been so busy trying not to die there, I didn't even notice this was a fairy chest room. Until I fucking ran into a fairy chest. I believe that's the one that lets you fly. If 
I had to guess, I'd say they said somewhere that uh, dragons can fly infinitely, so I'm gonna guess that using sky runes allows you to do what the dragons do, except you can only do it for a uh, limited time per rune. Well, I mean, like, per flight per rune, you know, like, they, al they always make a point of saying multiple runes stack, right? Son of a whore! I'm dying. I don't wish to be dying. I wish for my brilliant plan to have worked. I don't know what I thought it was gonna be. Maybe if I throw myself in the altar of Kadir. Long time since I faced an enemy with a level higher than mine. Nope. Same health. That would be a bit cheaty for this game, wouldn't it? I was starting to say earlier. Oh. A scout! Sir Jimmy, no! you, Jimmy. That's why I picked you. Is Legendary better or worse than Divine? Yeah, multiple runes stack for longer flight duration. Right, insane. How about no, Scott? The safest way to deal with being insane is to assume everything is actually there until proven otherwise. Because really the only way that uh, the hallucinations can hurt you is if you react to them poorly and like fall onto spikes trying to uh, not touch them. I have a feeling that one's not real. No. Nope, you were real. Or I just killed a hallucination. Which I haven't done since Alice Madness Returns. Yeah! I don't remember the name of the rune I wanted for, uh... I don't know, siphoning uh, mana and stuff. Mana and health. My kingdom for wings. That was some really effective meat. I only increased it by 1%. Need to pay more attention. Um... Okay, so it's not a trap, it's not a mimic. It just seems unusually easy. 
walked right into that one. I own up to that mistake. You know, one of the most annoying things about doing a Let's Play is when you inevitably remember something you wanted to talk about, or something you could have talked about, after you finish the series. Like, take Let's Play Ghostbusters, which wrapped up last week. I remembered a couple of useless facts I wanted to mention. Namely, uh... I don't know, there's, there's a bit where someone says something like, Watch your head, because stuff is falling from the ceiling. And Venkman comments that their uniforms don't have helmets. I just want to mention the throwaway fact, that was really dumb of me. That, uh... I'd seen some concept art from Ghostbusters, where the, uh... Where their uniforms actually included, uh... Batter helmets. That would have been really embarrassing if I couldn't kill him in one hit. And I was aware of that before I started, too. I guess the idea behind that uh, original costume design was to show that the Ghostbusters was a bunch of schmucks. You know, so they're... You know, it's like those guys from The Dark Knight who try to emulate Batman by wearing hockey pads because they, you know, can't afford billionaire armor. But, uh... Not in the final design. If I had to guess, I'd say that the they wanted to make their faces more clearly shown. Yes, you know, since these are the kind of uh and say it added the little uh visors for this, let's not fight that. Whoa! Just lying around! Screenshot. I don't know, you could find that just lying around. I think. No, that's right, I found a health, uh, a few sessions ago. Which, of course, might have been back in December. Oh, and then there was a thing I'd been planning to mention from the very get-go. Just a little piece of useless, but interesting, if you ask me, trivia. About how, uh. about the cartoon, the real Ghostbusters. And the reason it was called that, instead of just calling it Ghostbusters. Nothing but air. The, uh... It's been all since I read the whole story, but if I remember correctly, the, uh... There was a... Another animation company that... Oh, Christ. No, this is a bad place to be. I don't want to be here. No! Fuck you! Let's run. Man...
There's another animation company that had a cartoon in, you know, let's say the, uh, the 60s or the 70s that happened to be called Ghostbusters. That's about some kids and their you know, comedic sidekicks who, uh, fought evil ghosts. I don't really know the details on that one, but, uh, when, you know, the Ghostbusters movie became popular, ha, ah, that's a hallucination. Oh, for crying out loud. When the Ghostbusters movie became popular, these guys made their, uh, you know, they started airing their cartoons again, trying to cash in on it. Busters, with that being two words instead of one. So where the fuck? Oh, there's one way down there. Yeah, the short version. These guys made their uh, started re-airing their cartoon that had nothing to do with the movies, just because they had a cartoon and they had the rights to it that was called the Ghostbusters. So uh, when Columbia started doing their cartoon based on uh, you know the movie, specifically despite those guys, they called their cartoon the Real Ghostbusters. And you know, sure, I just mentioned it here, and sure, it probably helped uh, a lot of the Burning Dog fans who watched Let's Play Ghostbusters, because it just ended, but those videos aren't going anywhere. And uh, I don't like the odds of someone, you know, a year from now, five years from now, ten years from now, watching Let's Play Ghostbusters, and then, uh... You know what? I'm gonna go watch Rogue Legacy Video 51. Alright, not off to the best start today. The, uh... The marathon, I mean. But I'm gonna keep going. Alexander must die. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next Let's Quest Rogue Legacy. Later!